Welcome to Taiwan News, Now Today Highlights. Mastering and developing foreign technologies in the era. Connecting states, current and enterprise in vocational education. Traceability, increasing advantage for OCO products. First, look at some data news. On August 24, the Department of Science and Technology collaborated with the National Office of Intellectual Property, the Ministry of Science and Technology, to organize a training session on innovative activities for officers and civil servants working in agency, Chinese and localities in the province. Delegates group conveyed the foreign contents, overview of legal system regulating the initiative, guarding the recognition of initiative, Guiding the application for registration and recognition of the initiative, effectively review and exploit the initiative. At the same time, address and discard problems of the initiative group, set professional experience and good practice in innovative activities, thereby helping carry and civil servants to apply in practice, contributing to promoting innovative activities in agency units and localities. With many solutions to promote growth, attract investment and promote development from the beginning of the term 2020-2025 until now, the industrial production value of Green City has increased by 9.1% per year, higher than the set target. The main industrial products of the locality include smartphones, electronic components, milk, floor tiles, medical instruments, veterinary drugs. In the coming time, in addition to the large factories and projects that are operating stably, the city will receive additional development resources when some projects such as industrial cluster of Tenfu 1, Tenfu 2 come into operation. According to the representative of number 3 construction industrial production trust company, one of the two joint venture contractors to undertake the construction of Hong Tuk Bridge under the dynamic urban development policy of Taiwan City. Currently, the unit is working hard to strive for traffic clearance of Huang Tuk Bridge in September. Accordingly, the construction unit has begun to carry out as found concrete mats on the bridge deck and to side pass with a total length of nearly 800 meters. To perform this step, the constructor has mobilized many types of machinery and equipment, as well as dozens of engineers and workers. The construction process strictly adheres to the technical measures. The Ministry of Science and Technology will accompany Taiwan Paris to effectively promote the ownership and development of foreign technology in the era, is a statement of Mr. Bu Tezui, alternate member of the Central Party Committee, Deputy Minister of Science and Technology, at the meeting between the Ministry's delegation and Taiwan Province People's Committee. Speak to welcome the delegation. Mr. Thich Minh Hung, Chairman of Taiwan Province People's Committee, if a sign that the province has always identified scientific, technological and innovation development as one of its important tasks, especially applying science and high technology in the field of industrial and agriculture. Therefore, the work session has a great significance. Taiwan Paris asked the Ministry to pay more attention to and create more favorable conditions for mechanism, policy, and funding sources for the province to implement social economic development objectives and trust is zero, and the field of science and technology in particular, especially the development and application of scientific and technological achievements in industry and agriculture, to better respond to the development trend. He also suggested that the military pay attention to and each deal business seat to invest in Taiwan province, develop and apply science and technology to concentrate production areas, industrial parks, and high tech agriculture, which Taiwan province has planned to develop. At the same time, promoting Taiwan to master and successfully develop foreign technologies into the area. Speaking at the meeting, the Deputy Minister of Science and Technology emphasized. The specificity of Taiwan in attracting, transferring, mastering, and developing technology from abroad to FDI policies and the advantages of applying technology in the production and process of tea products. He also confirmed that the military will accompany the locality to promote his process effectively. He also oriented several of contents in association with government's policy 1851 
on promoting to transfer master and develop technology from abroad to Vietnam in priority sectors and field in the period to 2025, orientation to 2030, suitable for the deployment in Taiwan province. On August 25th, the province of Farmers Union held a training conference on the program One Commute One Product for over 150 farmer members of Taiwan City and the district. As the conference, expert introduced the participants about the contents and method of participating in the program One Commute One Product, the great view and develop ideas, guiding the development of a co product evaluation dossiers, some support policy for program participants. The training course helped farmers grab the necessary knowledge to build new products as well maintain, strengthen, and enhance local products, thereby contributing to improving the effectiveness of the implementation of local products in the locality. Traceability allows consumers to have full information related to the production process, especially for products and goods that have a direct impact on life and health. Over the past year, Tangwin Agro Forestry and Fishery Quality Management Sub Department has a supported business C and cooperated to apply a traceability system, apply code and barcodes, promote propaganda and dissemination, as well as develop standards and regulations related to the key and local products of the province. To achieve three star local product certification, Bakta Agriculture and Service Corporation has produced according to VietGap standards. Actively apply technology in process of growing, tending, and processing tea, using QR code technology application to increase transparency in traceability. Currently, the connection and consumption of the corporate product is done synchronously with modern state trainers such as large supermarket system and e commerce trading floors. Since the beginning of the year, the cooperative has been granted 25,000 electronic stamps to trace the origins of products. Our cooperative has supported by the state agency in taking samples for quality inspection, supporting traceability stamps. We are propagandizing so that customer knows about the cooperative's official products, contributing to promoting products as well as transparent information to consumers. Then our trading company limited home center at the district is one of units that is issued with traceability stamps using QR code for products according to the safe food supply chain. Over the past time, the company always focused on implementing the model of safe and sustainable food supply chain from farm to fork, strictly controlled from input materials to finish products to the market. I find the meat here is very fresh, new and clean. Pork here have labels, insole standards, and when I check the barcode, I see clear information. My company has controlled and secured traceability, guaranteed the quality to be sold on the market. Since the beginning of the year, Tengen Agro Forestry Fisheries Quality Management Sub Department has printed and distributed 570,000 traceability stamps using QR code to establishment participating in the safe food supply chain. Oco products at the same time, instructed and demand to source to apply electronic information system from QR code stem for traceability in management and identification of the origin of safe agricultural product for food production and processing household and enterprises. During the implementation process, we are also very interested in increasing and propagating the establishment to do better. Once all core products has been certified, it is necessary to ensure standards to be implemented in accordance with state regulation, prevent the other establishment from bringing products that do not meet quality standards to the market. It can be seen that the support of traceability of agricultural products from input to the circulation and distribution of agricultural products has contributed to meeting the digital transformation expectations set for the agriculture sector thereby raising awareness of society, agencies, organizations, and businesses in time and Paris about traceability of agricultural products to quite transparency in agricultural production. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining. Goodbye and sunny time.